Zambula and welcome to Parentology. I'm Chuni Zuxeldin, your host. Today, the guest we have is a mother of one, but to the nation, she's popularly known for her beautiful and soothing voice. Uh, however, she's here to talk about her journey of motherhood. I'm pleased to have Pem Dekhi here on Parentology. Welcome to Parentology, Thank Pem. You. So for, for those of you who don't yeah. uh, know uh, Pem's situation, she has uh, separated from her husband and they share custody of your yes. daughter, Mo, who is five years old. Yes. And um, and the daughter, and you guys, the whole family live together? Uh, no? Whole family, say, uh, me and my sister and her husband and my daughter, Dikki. I see. Four of us, five of us. Four? Four of us. Oh. Uh, parents, they are still in RBG and yeah. I see, okay. All right, tell me about Dikki. What kind of girl is she, her oh. personality? So uh, she's uh, very active, like, I don't know active way. She's never tired. Even if she's tired, she will not take naps. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she's very active. She likes drawings. I think she got it from her dad. I see. I was going to ask. I was going to ask. She is Sebdiki's daughter. Does she enjoy no, singing? No. I mean, people expect that. <laughs> I have my single friends whose uh, kids are like, they started singing, they started recording. But <laughs> you can't, you can't always yeah. have it. Yeah, so I, I don't force it on her mm -hmm. also. But I, tr I try to uh, sometimes um, when I drop her to school, Disney uh, song, this at the play, you and it may be interesting, I see, I see. So, so I, I don't force that on her. I see. She's yeah. just recently started class PP. Yes. How does In, uh, that make you Timpu feel? Primary School. That, um, I was like for almost one month, I was so nervous because any anxiety, this is top when you send your kid and even big mm. world. Mm. And uh, but she took it so well, I was so proud of her. Mm. And um, the moment she in her first day of school, she uh, made some friends, and uh, yeah, it went really well. I'm very glad to hear yeah. that. I think um, because everybody is now going back to school or starting school for the first time, a lot of the parents share that anxiety with you yeah. of sending their child, especially when they're going to a new school, the anxiety of uh, whether my child will fit in, whether my child will like the school, whether my child will make friends. Mm. Did you have, um, did you <coughs> do any kind of preparation? Yeah, I, I kept telling her after a while I felt bad also. Because every day, every night, I'll be like, school <laughs> I think I was more nervous than her. Mm. I mean, time spent, my sister will be like, she ready? Now I'm ready. Yes, <laughs> The preparation set up. Uh, my sister used to be a, a teacher. Yeah, RBG private school even daycare. Mm -hmm. so she knows anism. Alphabets, numbers, the and a whole lockdown. Every day we had uh, evening school, zumbe, like I class, zumbe. Mm -hmm. like two to three hours. They'll be drawing, coloring, the stone, the so collect, be any color, be any zumbe. Mm -hmm. So I'm very thankful to that. Ngai be ojindi, ngai bera misbe ani zumbe. So. Yeah, so I never prepare babies in the same Did she ever actually verbally express to you, your daughter, hmm. uh, about whether she's nervous of going to a new school? Uh, no, she actually was very nervous during her any daycare time. Oh, yeah, okay. she, uh, she would uh, tell us, uh, do I have school tomorrow? I do I have to go to school tomorrow? And you I know, see. all those. Uh, and she would complain a little bit. The uh, pack lunch to so you call a complaint mm. bill, but any school na the complaint that to sense enough so no. I see. So Maybe because her daycare has prepped her. In me, in me, I think how so. many years were she, was she in daycare? I think two years, but like lockdown kept in happening. Inconsistent so, yeah. Yeah. But those uh, two years, give or take, more, uh, has must have prepared her to be yes, in the yes, bigger yes. school. I think this just reiterates the importance of um, 
sending your young child to yeah. ECCD is more mm. than... Uh, so, Pam, tell me about you, the situation that uh, we were talking earlier about how you and um, your husband live away from each other, but at the same time, you... I was asking her if I could call her a single parent and she said, I don't think I would be comfortable calling myself a single parent because both the father and the mother are equally involved. Yes, yes, so yes. tell me about that situation. So, um, um, unfortunately, divorce happened, but uh, I mean, divorce is so low. People think it's so bad these days. Mm -hmm. I mean, these days or him mm -hmm. Like um Alu disturbed you say and no me but uh, of course beginning that the our kid was a little confused why mm -hmm. we stayed two <laughs> houses. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. But then uh but the but the but when he gives time mm -hmm. like I do, mm -hmm. equal with Jim Daludi, it's it's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. She gets she gets to go whenever she wants. He can come whenever he wants. Mm -hmm. I don't have problem me because I time to me. I I get time for myself. Uh, I get time to uh, work on my projects or whatever. But uh, mainly, I get time for myself. Every day, I lose my do it. I just stress it to me. So I think um, what I'm trying to say is we are both equally involved. And it's good for the child, and it's not that, like you know, negative. Or, I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's I, not that bad. I see. Yeah. I was uh, reading an article about uh, relationships yesterday, yeah. and it's it's so relevant here. Normally, we think a successful relationship is a relationship that has made it till the end of times, mm -hmm. where we're dying in bed and holding mm -hmm. each other's hands. But the way you described your current situation i think that's a successful relationship too because you are making the best yeah without yeah. hurting the other person without hurting yourself too much and without hurting the child too yes, yes. and i think you've this is what a successful relationship looks like it doesn't always have to be happily ever after marriage mm -hmm. marriage like staying married i don't think is the only definition that's one way of defining a relationship but uh, a successful relationship but there are so many other ways of defining mm. a successful relationship. And you have made the best of your situation. Have you ever sat your daughter down and explained to her um, your uh, separation? Uh, I, I have never used the word separate or divorce to her because mm -hmm. I think she's still too young. But she understands. So I tell her that uh, we have two houses. Mm -hmm. Very rich. <laughs> no, no, we are very rich. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. Uh -huh, no, no. So, yeah. So, chimney, uh, mm -hmm. the le, upper has to take care of that house, his parents. Mm -hmm. I have to take care of my house and my parents. That's why you are up and down, Silaj. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Okay. I mean, she, she, she understands. She, she it. accepted but, that? Yeah, she accepted that. And yeah. sometimes it gets kind of emotional for both of us. Mm -hmm. Like, Both uh, of me and my kid, okay. yeah. when we're about to sleep, suddenly she's like, why are you not, you know, why can't we sleep together, you know, all mm -hmm. that questions. And then I have to keep telling her that, that the chimney is not a good thing, you know, it's mm not -hmm. a shop, but it's not a good But how can we do that? So, it's not a good thing. I think as long as she accepts it, mm. you're fine. Very soon, your daughter is going to get more curious about it and ask more questions. Yeah. And I think at that time, you might have to buckle up and give her the true answer. But, but the thing is, um, I mean, even if we are divorced, uh, mm -hmm. so that's why I'm not that like nervous or, yeah. you know. And I don't think she'll get confused or mad about it, yeah. because it's like we are together, but we are we just live separately. We have different mm -hmm. lives, but alu um, mm -hmm. to involved be even birthdays or mm -hmm. celebration. walk park na leva jure chete chika be jong. So like laga dusu na leva ki ane be chika chika be I see. So. It, it makes me really happy to see a lot of these instances. I also know a couple of other couples who have decided uh, for, their, for their own reasons to separate from each other, but at the same time, I can see them fully engaged in mm. being parent to that 
one or two child children. It's it's become like a business to me as to a thing with the high business man, jingle business village. Then this is our product investment. Investment. Yes. And we have to like yeah yeah you know groom still commit. That. Uh, I, I'm really glad to hear about this, and I'm glad that we get to bring you here to actually talk about uh, uh, such examples of uh, new kinds of family in the country. Mo Pam is also a full-time singer, right? Right. Uh, so tell me how what what does your job require you to do? Uh, I didn't plan to be a full-time singer mm. actually. I was working before private firms na lo la atrebe tele but then i had to quit my job because alo ke anwe debe and slowly i went back to singing because my passion for singing was really pulling me towards that so ani gibe shafta the recording the so appointment zuira ba recording beira ba do then da di i think 3 4 years Yes, no. The people started doing music videos. You mm-hmm. know, we we come on screen now, singers. That sense of the genre, diva. So that's why I still get nervous with cameras and lightings and everything. But uh, now I'm pretty much okay with that. Mm-hmm. So like Pali Pagi Zumbe, the singers they do their own music videos. They're not just vocal in mm-hmm. it. So they come in front. They do dancing, everything. So. Ani sum bedalu it keeps us really busy music video chi gera planning de so be meetings de so be tele sponsors de so chi so yeah ani music video chi bedalu time halam chi jong then i take a break again then daru aluchika ani be time spend be mogi ani nalu be daru ani be project chi be go be ani be oi se o machin daru i stay little engaged the timing se de me i'm not uh, like 9 to 5 be me um time the shooting time nam me chi kate ve tab de chi ani ve beira bado and when i go out for uh, to work um, my sister is my dikis muragira lani you are my second mom right <laughs> so so thank god my sister ge sister and sister's husband koni ge murag khara ge aluzum bara tauma your schedule as a singer and now even as someone who has to come on tv is very um like you said it's not 9 to 5 mm-hmm. it happens at different hours yes. of the day mo anabab the does your family cooperate and understand your situation because oh, yes, yes. traditionally a woman first of all if you go really back women did not work outside of mm-hmm. the house but even if they did having the chi- uh, having your daughter um who's an adult work out too late or too early in mm. the morning um, a lot of the families don't understand that mm. how how is your situation um hema when i started builder the atiti they would like keep calling me mm. you know they get worried the le plus i used to drink atiti the anizum la bitu lu tu be tele chhar du si mapale atre drink bejo me so they get worried Uh, otherwise now they they understand i have quit drinking by the way mm-hmm. two yes. years <laughs> yes so, two years so they're very proud of me and ani bitalu tab de tele ngadi i'm like i i work out also i i'm i look like a like do you know soft with home with on the sata i know i As know them personally and i can ani meva But I can vouch for physically it. Physically or mentally, I'm determined. Like, yes, very strong. That's why I'm very strong. So I'm very strong. So they know that I'm like very. You're tough. Like, yes, I'm a tough girl. Mm. She be working. I'm very strong. So I'm not like that. I'm not. I'm just too bad. So they're not worried. I I go. I'm just be shooting. Gati iru i. I'm not going to do that. I'm just be too. I'm not too. I'm be too. Parents, they are like okay. Pam, you have also mentioned just right now that uh, you have started your journey um, as a fit person yeah. too. Did you tell me about it? Why did you start it? When did you start yeah. it? And did you do? Did you work out and uh, did you exercise even before you gave birth? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I used to love working out, especially running mm-hmm. and cycling. Chuku ganera activity physically. So now we know why Dikki is so active. I think so. 
So I, I can't stay in one place. I have to keep doing something. Mm. The um, then automatically stop. We have to give time for your body. At least you relax with the but after alu then the le ani bere actually work out bio jog rebe ani be ma pole ra ani me chidi chidi I in the past I had some uh, depression gi signs mm -hmm. I used to take medicine also now completely stopped so ani ani di gi ngara gi mental gi den de thagi chie lam me ba because if I don't do that it gets like worst. Mm -hmm. I, I go deep into depression and the whole atmosphere mm -hmm. and parents they worry, ex husband then mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. So I need to avoid I kept working out. Kacharo Yurui Mirumi Apogi cycle the two chin jung the le uh jog jung the le uh walk at the hike bill. But now uh since like I said I get more time for myself Plus, uh, school day, morning be morning alu drop be then I go to gym, muscle factory na jo tele analo workout chita alta be, then I take shower and everything and then change tele the studios na jo, so ane be zoja ba chindi jo me ba. So you start your day yeah. with a workout now. Yes, yes. Wow. Okay. So workout really helps. So I have a friend who helps me tele. Like um, um, people think that working out is losing weight or you know, ani zoom di me. We lose kaji be na amchile lose be je So, so you mentioned that, that is you not their to gain. intention. Move. Yeah. So uh, what I'm trying to do is gain mm. beniki, like gain so the fat gain beni me ba, like muscle gain mm. beniki, strength gain beniki, the stamina the so gain be. Ani kara gain ni mati mush. So that's what I was trying to do. Then plus I have uh, na. Back problem, eva upper back. So anigi, yeah. If I don't work out, if I just sit like this mm -hmm. whole time with my phone, or ane be get to ma kuppe juni gi ane zoom dusi. So ane to avoid beni gi denle. I lift heavy things. It 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 not just helps my mind, but get to dusi pain dusi ejo me. So ane nara push be be da the ane the disadvantage the kane me advantage rad email lavi working out this so I, I try to tell my uh, people who DM me about working out like kam chi thense nyam shuni try be mo se ani zo mo me wa mi se mo shape e ro mo ma shape e ro like you said muscle da stamina endurance yes. those are one yes. thing but also like pem has mentioned the mental health yeah yeah it does have a direct impact more mm -hmm. your physical mm -hmm. health the mental health kina I, mean, I really encourage um, working out it, I it see. has like completely changed my how i think about things how i think about depression how i um and even used anxiety. to anxiety yes exactly i, I still get that by mm -hmm. the way the uh, but working out give help be wina I'm sure working out, work, when you work out, there's a lot of um, enzymes, hormones that produce mm -hmm. that makes you think happy thoughts mm -hmm. and also keep you in the present. Cheating yeah. anxiety is a lot of to do with what has happened or what is going to happen, more things mm -hmm. that could go wrong mm -hmm. in the future. That is not necessarily a good way of uh, spending our time. Mm -hmm. But like Pem says, when you work out, it puts things into perspective. Mm -hmm. um, Pem, tell me about your um, challenges as a mother. As a mother? <clears throat> what are some of the things that you did not know would happen to you? Or what are some things that you did not know mm. would be involved in being a mother? And you found it tough there. Uh, I mean, uh, I know, uh, nine months pregnant, that was the only thing that's put into my mind mm. from my parents or my cousins or, 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 or,
Let me with you. But that's not the difficult part at all, see? Yeah. <laughs> so nobody told me that. Nobody warned me about the after you give birth. And the baby's here, yeah. main challenge. So I was not prepared for that at all. Mm. Like breastfeeding was a nightmare oh, for okay. me. Because um, sadly, I breast nalo um na misa mi mindo ani zume complain I mean alu laha tay four days alu um mi ba ani we kis habe so ani zume challenges lasha thi and I was not prepared for that and ani bio dalu postpartum depression na jisu no mo ay mara shira mashible so ani zume ani first stage na di na misa mi laha tay nga Nine months ka to to be ba be tele to i shopping be I was like both of us went to Bangkok tele ka chigu chigu new so excited alu omi galle ani challenge ra sosoi me worry ra sosoi me chadu thab tele jani atre the me mush oh thau thau yes tele tele ra kajibin na mishi be and the and the most scariest part that I had to accept was um. When a child is born, uh, time you know, like time for me, like like whenever I can go outside <laughs> or I can pee whenever I want, <laughs> or poop whenever yeah. I want, you know all that, and shower whenever I want. I need to disappear, yeah, sissy. This shock, yes, and uh, that time my mom was still a teacher, uh, my sister was a teacher, her husband was working. Then my husband, ex-husband, was working also, mm -hmm. so I had like literally no help first time. Nalo, then I stayed with my brother. I mean, even though they would come in the, you know, num time thopchi umbi ba oni di, but morning lom chin ngat khala chuni brush jam ni kara jabe anna begoye bate. So ani be 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 ngat dipchikal ani stress thopdi. Ah ngara yi time. Like completely change, yes, but you know, like whole life I've been doing my things on my time. Mm. Like I can go out and, like, you know, like uh, be in the sun whenever I want or like eat whenever I want. That was like really challenging for me. And I think uh, young mothers still face that. Mm. They should before. Alu makio le ro tatu de excited the ba ane ba de be mo, but ani tsu e mentally prepare be se. I want to say that to the young parents. No one ever prepared me for the amount of commitment I had to give to this new baby. And you think it's so small, it wouldn't require your time as much. Like you said, you don't even have the time to pee at your own terms. Whenever you feel like peeing, and you're right, no one quite prepares you for it more. The second thing you said was the post postpartum depression. When did you decide? Did you ever go to the hospital for oh, it? Oh yeah, yeah. And when I, did you realize? Okay, okay. You know what? I'm, I need to go. Say, so, now realize, babe. Uh, basically, we started fighting. You know, till alu gi donga thab dalu alu e disturb jo mu. Then, then I had to like tell him, "Nga kashne chibe do, kashne chibe ome se. Ani mapali mitu be se. Ani be na na le ra ani be ome se mu." I would catch him. Maybe sometimes, like he's sleeping right here. Tele alu chika ane be duro ya. I would just cry for no reason. Like ani feeling dinga catch him na hamagos. Tume na is it the love towards her or am I frustrated? Am I sad? Am I sad? Am I why? Catch him ese ani zumbe one two weeks months be dito. So ani better de tele I told my parents but ani de I think depression ki sign chi imoni mes. Tele kugi support be he would be outside when I'm, you know, seeing the psychiatric or tele ani chau chi kungi massage be ni anzum na tam me ba so ani be judra di. But chi de ani me awareness because you were aware of this notion of postpartum depression, you knew what signs to be wary of, watch out for more. In my college days, yung I, I'm sorry, I don't want to say it much, but I think I was already, you know. I in see. depression because I, I was now be at the last time hospitalized be and zoom che be disturbed be asinu ana lera but tele lejime asi tele dero aluki 
the Ruani di log di o. So yeah. Well, I'm so glad um, you came out the way you came out, <laughs> healthier, happier, very positive, and it exudes them. I can, I feel so much positivity from you, you. and you have made this journey of uh, motherhood, and it has definitely taught you. Mm. Taken a lot from you, but given so much more. Yeah. more. When the child is born, you, it's not like uh, you learn to love some member. Automatically, there's a different kind of love, mm. like how we love our parents, mm. our siblings. Ani Zumbe automatically love Jimmy, and but loves you too. Not just happy, happy. Jam Jimmy, but smiling all the time. In that love comes stress, mm -hmm. lots of stress, worries, anxieties, and yeah. So anika andalu. Everything is love, but mm -hmm. for your child. Yeah. So that's completely new. So we have to minus our time or feelings mm -hmm. or whatever we're going through to give to True. our kid. True. So I was not working. I was full-time mom. I was not going out for recordings or anything. For two years, I stayed in with my kid. But compared to full-time mom lady, working mom this guys. Hmm. At least it's a bit of time to talk about, you know? Mm -hmm. They get to be with their colleagues or they get to have a little bit of time to talk about it. Back of the mind, but somebody's there to take care of your kid, your, your mom or your husband. Or, but anim chigi few hours gear stress na me same down journey me bade well what i found funny was in that two years i i stayed with uh with my brother yeah rbg na lo parents to sugar ani do suji nga excuse so be shopping jo ngobel no that was my you know and the tension you need i thought um this thing le ta was since the drive home the lo nga stress down jo si so you know, I can relate to yeah. it. Yeah, I can relate to it. Atsitsu shopping store na jo time take be new chi call to. Oh yeah. Then I have to rush, rush. back. So that's why I think um, working moms are like. You, I see. I prefer that. Okay, you prefer to yes. be a working mom than a say. You get to be who you are. You're distracted Hema. a little. Yes. Mui, true. Ra hema gade be di ani feeling the log di thaji thob me bad. Yeah, yeah, true. The full time be gale. There's no break for uh, you. And when people around you think that, oh, sh you've been at home relaxing, yeah. but even if it's Ate. one child, that child amounts to a lot of chores in the house, mm. a lot of stress, a lot of concerns. I have, I, have, I have PTSD from my daughter crying. Mm. I still cannot hear any child cry for too long. Mm. I have to get involved, whether it's a stranger's kid or anybody's kid. I have knocked on people's doors in my building because I heard the child cry for too long. <laughs> I've become that kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it is so stressful. So stay at home's mom do have it very difficult. Meanwhile, we don't want to again um, diminish the stress that uh, working moms have. They have their own share, mm. of course. But uh, it's good that we're acknowledging that moms have it difficult whether you're working or whether you're staying at home yeah. well, i really appreciate you actually looking at the the positive and uh knowing that this episode that you do with parentology will benefit a lot of the parents yes, out there. i, so, I thank really you. hope for that i hope so too and thank you so much for watching uh, this episode of parentology with bem Deki and i we hope you join us for the next episode thank you and bye bye